A warning, this report by our international affairs editor, Dominic Waghorn, has images of people killed in the attacks. In an incubator in a Gaza hospital, a baby girl less than a day old. She was born an orphan, delivered by surgeons as her mother lay dying. We had to do an emergency caesarean to save the baby. Thanks to God, we managed to save the baby. The mother was in a very critical condition. Her brain was exposed, so we saved one of the two. She has no name yet. On the tape, the writing says, the baby of the martyr Sabrina al sakani Her mother, Sabrine, her father, Shukri, and her three-year-old sister, Malak, all died in the Israeli airstrike. Her uncle showed our team their pictures. He says he'll care for her now. I will embrace her and look after her. I hope I'll be up to it. God willing, I will look after her and take care of her. I will be her guardian after her father died. It has been a horrific 48 hours, even by Gaza's standards. 17 children and two women, all from the same extended family, died when another Israeli airstrike flattened this building, say Palestinians. Our team was shown pictures of some of them. At the hospital, relatives mourned the children, killed, they say, as they slept in their beds. These children were sleeping. What did they do? What was their fault? Pregnant women, sleeping children, the husband's aunt is 80 years old. What did this woman do? Did she fire missiles? We complain about our concerns to God. The strikes, all in Rafa, have provoked unusually sharp criticism of Israel by the UK government. Foreign Minister for the Middle East, Lord Ahmad, tweeting he was appalled by the Israeli strike on a residential apartment in the densely populated Rafa in Gaza, which resulted in more children being killed. We must stop this fighting immediately, he said, and bring an end to this conflict. But this is likely just the beginning of a new chapter in the Gaza war. In an address to the nation ahead of Passover, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu used language from the Bible to justify what is coming in Rafa. As a result of this, it has only hardened its conditions for the release of our hostages. It is hardening its heart and refusing to let our people go. Therefore, we will strike it with additional painful blows and this will happen soon. Israelis say they must take the fights to Hamas in Rafah to bring back their hostages and destroy the enemy. But far more civilians are being killed than Hamas fighters in this war. Rafah is the most densely populated area of Gaza. And when the offensive begins here, many more will die. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Jerusalem.